Welcome to chapter 1 that is python installation guide. So I'll be explaining how to install the python and anaconda or minjukunda in your windows machine. So with that said let us start. Okay. So basically to install the python you need to go and visit www.python.org. On this website you have to go and check for the latest stable version. I am just giving an example of stable version. 3.11.4 for June 2023. Once you will find the stable version, you just have to click on that, download the exe file, click next, next until it is completed. Right? So, for example, we are at python.org in download section. You are here, you can go and check inside and download. There will be a file called installer, Windows install for either 32 bit or 62 bit. Right? So, most of you might be having 62 bit of your windows so you just have to click on that and then .exe file will be downloaded I already have it so that's why I will not be clicking on it so you have to just click on it and complete all the installations uh, by just clicking next just make sure you are adding the path and then just completing the install now right so once that is completed you also go and check for different documentations available also you can check with the different available stable versions uh, if at all you wanted to have a uh, earlier version of python you also can have it as per your different application needs right once that is completed you can go and check inside your command prompt if at all the python version is installed correctly you will be getting the output like that so maybe i will just show the example you where i am doing python hyphen hyphen version and getting an output as python 3.9.12 that is the latest version available in my machine. So now you get all I wanted to install different libraries. I need to do is pip install pip install and then library name. Right? So why all these libraries and all is required to in, to complete a different application development to need different libraries as your base for your application that or a code development. On top of that, you can create your application, right? But now to install all these libraries one by one, it will take time and also you might miss some of the good or required libraries inside your code. So to solve this problem, you need to install Anaconda and Miniconda inside your machine. So before that, if at all Python is not installed, you will get error saying name Python is not defined inside your machine. So, um, whenever you wanted to check why what is Anaconda, Miniconda or different things inside your coding practices, you can always go and visit Stack Overflow, check for the different coding questions and answers, even chat GPT is this, will be a good mentor to you during your code journey. So, basically whenever you are choosing Anaconda, you have to make sure that you are having good configuration of your system so that it will be installing over 15,000 scientific packages inside your machine automatically at one, right? But if at all you do not have that much requirement, that much specification, you can always go to Miniconda. So these are the two websites which I, have, I will be showing um, for installations of Miniconda and Anaconda. Miniconda is nothing but a free minimal installer of Conda. It is a small booster for you know, Anaconda. This is how it looks like. So I will be showing it to you here. You can just according to your Python version, you can click on the Windows installer or you can go over here and check the screens available which will be helping you for your installations, right? You just have to click next and then complete your installations. So that's it about installation part. I hope that was helpful. I will see you soon in the next chapter. Thank you.